Hi guys, it is Tuesday. It's the fall of 2021, and this is week three lab. And the star of the show today are the pelvis ligaments, or the ligaments that really surround the sacroiliac joint. And we'll talk about these two ligaments as well, sacrospinous and sacrotubish ligaments. We'll throw them in there as well. All right, so here we go. Where should we start? Start with the easy one. Here's a broad ligament that runs down the front of the spine, anchors into S2, maybe S3, sacral vertebral bodies. That's the anterior longitudinal ligament. Let's do the easy ones. This one runs from the sacrum to the spine of the ischium. Sacrum, spine, sacral spinous ligament. This one runs from the sacrum to the ischial tuberosity, which you can't see that great. S sacrum tube, sacral tuberous ligament right here, running behind the sacrospinous ligament. Greater sciatic foramen is created by these ligaments. Lesser sciatic foramen created by these ligaments. What comes out of that? Very for boards, very important to know what structures come in and out of these. Uh, so sciatic nerve, piriformis muscle, superior gluteal nerve, inferior gluteal nerve, uh, and something they call the little sciatic nerve, posterior femoral cutaneous nerve also comes out of the greater sciatic foramen. All right, now let's get to this mess right here. So we have a bunch of ligaments that are running from the ilium to the, the lumbar, so they're called iliolumbar ligaments. So let's look at those. This is complicated. I think some professors just call it the iliolumbar ligament. It's more complicated than that. So this is, these are actually the anterior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. Uh, the ligament goes down in its snake tongues. It splits into a band here. It runs very vertical. Vertical fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. Some fibers come over like this. That's the other part of the snake tongue. Those are called the inferior sacred or inferior iliolumbar ligament, inferior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. They're over the top of this ligament. It runs underneath the common trunk uh, of the iliolumbar ligament here, and it connects into here. This is the anterior view, so this is the anterior sacroiliac ligament. Anterior sacroiliac ligament. This is the pubic symphysis right here. And I think I got everything for that picture. Let's go on to another one. Uh, let's see. Not sure how that's going to show up. Oh, looks like it's pretty good. Looks like I might be able to zoom in a little bit here. I think that's good. All right. So that same A to P view, um, this is representing the quadratus lumborum muscle. This is going behind these structures. In fact, this is a sheet of fascia that's cut right here. It's called thoracolumbar fascia, the anterior fibers of thoracolumbar fascia. It's actually covering the anterior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. You can't see them because of this fascia. It's actually covering the iliolumbar or the uh, quadratus lumborum muscle as well. Right. Now we can see the snake tongue very nicely here. Those are the vertical fibers of the ilium to lumbar, vertical fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. These are the inferior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. Um, this is the, what, you tell me, what disc is that? Bone that sits on the disc conquers the disc. L5 disc, L4 disc, anterior longitudinal ligament has been removed. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This is just a quick overhead view. Um, I might have to resize here now. I think you can see it. 
So this is a bird's eye view or an axial view, transverse view, horizontal. Remember all the AKAs for this overhead view? Chat, cross-sectional, horizontal, axial, transverse. Bird's eye view, there's another one. Um, anterior is here, posterior is back here. There's a lamina, uh, there's a facet joint, or a Z joint. And this shows you a little bit more about the, the, the what some authors call the, these two collectively, the superior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament goes to the ilium to the transverse process. We've seen these anterior fibers before. These have already been always been hidden, but those are the posterior fibers of the of the iliolumbar ligament here. Okay. Let's see. One thing I wanted to say. Some people call this the lumbosacral ligament. This, both of these fibers together, that's an old AK for the lumbosacral ligament. You really shouldn't call it that. Those are really the vertical fibers, and those are the inferior fibers of the iliolumbar ligament. All right, last but not least, we have this. And let's see how that's fitting. Let me back out just a little bit. Okay, great. So this is a posterior to anterior view. Uh, you can just see the sacral tubercles right here, 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 and here. Um, there's the posterior superior iliac spine right here, iliac crest, great, ischial tuberosity, or the, um, yeah, ischial tuberosity. Spine of the ischium is covered. So let's start with that one that goes behind these ligaments. That's the sacrum to the spine, sacral spinous ligament is here. Um, now we can see this ligament, sacrum to the ish tube, sacral tuberous ligament. Sacral tuberous ligament actually has two components to it. It has uh, these oblique fibers that are the ones that actually connect the sacrum uh, to the ischial of tuberosity. Uh, the lateral half of the ligament, which histologically you can separate, um, this is called the superior uh, sacral tuberous ligament. And that goes all the way up and connects into the lateral part of the PSIS and the lateral part of the, the lateral lip of the iliac crest here. Okay, so there's really two sets of fibers there. And then to match the anterior uh, sacral iliac ligament, we have a posterior, a double posterior sacral iliac ligament here and here. So these are the, the, the long fibers of the posterior sacral iliac ligament. These are the short fibers of the posterior sacral iliac ligament. And that's it. So that was pretty quick, I think. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I could probably, let me pull out a, um, let's pull out a sacrum, because I think there's actually a, lateral sacrum on there as well. So let's take a look at that. And yeah, let's take a look at this. Let me get it in focus. Could probably zoom in on that. Okay, actually it'd probably better if I go up like that. But anyway, so this is our sacrum. Uh, posterior sacrum, so we're pretty good at that. What was this called again? Median sacral crest made up by S1, S2, S3, S4. Sacral tubercles. Uh, lamina of the sacrum is right here. Okay, these little bumps. Articular tubercles, right? What about this region right here? I kind of threw a mean one at you. That's kind of rudimentary uh, articular process material here. It's not a bone bar. Bone bars are only on the front, to my understanding. Um, this is kind of transverse process material, uh, embryologic material right here. Um, then we get over to the side here. Oh, what was that weird thing right there? Good, that was a spina bifida, right? On the S1 uh, sacral tubercle. These, 
No, make sure you say it's a two-part answer. Facet of the sacral process or facet of the superarticular process of S1. What's that? Sacral vertebral body. What's that? Posterior sacral foramen. Great. So now we have a new structure. We can see one big kind of posterior divot here, another one here. Okay, the other one is back here. It's not as obvious. Right, what are those? That's the superior sacral fossa, middle sacral fossa, inferior sacral fossa. That's where the interosseous sacroiliac ligament connects to. So that's really important. What's this part right here? Push it up a little bit. Good, that's the auricular surface of the sacrum. Better see it if I tip it to the side like that. You can see it's definitely not flat. We have an elevation right here. That's Bonier's, uh, or actually the more of a depressed area. Bonier's fossa. Uh, there's the superior facet or arm, inferior arm, sacral auricular surface. All right, you should have everything you need now to complete your lab worksheet. Might as well do this while I'm on a roll here. What's that? Good, sacral hiatus, this. Good, sacral cornu, left, sac left sacral cornu, right sacral cornua, plural, cornua. Sacral cornua, uh, they connect to the coccygeal cornua, which you can't see. Heck, we might as well do this. Round a roll. Sacral vertebral body, one. S2 sacral body, S3, S4. Anterior sacral foramen, what's this line? Transverse line or linea transversary, right? Uh, it's kind of a petrified or ossified disc, which is no more this. Bone bar or costal elements. And then this region out here. Good, lateral mass of the sacrum. This one has a special name, this lateral mass up here. Probably would go right about to here. That's the ala of the sacrum. And last but not least, this lip right here. See that any better? Good, sacral promontory. What's that called again? That called? Sacral vertebral canal. Um, can you see that? I had a patient with a disc herniation right there. Went all the way down in that thing. Let's see, just out of curiosity if the, how the camera does with that. I come up to the anterior sacral foramen. So right about there. I don't know if you can see the tip of the probe. That's the S1 sacral inner vertebral foramen. Had a patient with a disc herniation that went all the way down into that anterior sacral foramen. Very difficult to remove. All right. Email me those questions if you have them. See you later.